What's up, everybody? It's Pib, and we're here for another video of sorts. I can't tell if I want to get high before a video or, like, not be high. Because sometimes I'll be extra funny and I'll be, like, super present in the moment. The comedic genius will be dawning upon me. And then sometimes I, it, I'm, i like, completely lobotomized. I'm, I'm, I'm literally, like... Ow, my chest. Ah! I wish I could just get like, just, just ass blasted before every video, whatever that mean that, that doesn't, I don't know what that means, but it sounded right. And I said it and now it doesn't sound right. But we stick with the decisions we make on this program. These gummies I be on, I mean, they really, like, I've never had anything just like, uh, you know, I, I turn to Vin Diesel. Family. Family. I turn into the D's. The Vin D's nuts. <laughs> okay, that's, that's enough. That's enough of that bit. I can't be handing that bit out for free. You gotta sub to the private snap for the rest of that. Anyways, folks, as a society, I think it feels like we're steadily we're steadily regressing. Devo was was right. Okay, you know Devo with the hats in the eighties and whip it. Whip it good. Great band. Great band. But they're called Devo, fun fact, the more you know, because they were talking about de-evolution. And that's what's happening now. We had a big, uh, it, it was a big culture shock. I mean, truly nothing the likes of it has been seen before in history until this point, which is why it's so subversive and shocking and just like uprooting everything we know to be true as a culture. And that is... Harry Styles wearing like a pants, like a pirate pantsuit with the ruffles sticking out of the sleeves. I mean, where were you when that happened? It's like 9-11. You know, what, what were you doing when Harry Styles posed with a banana? <laughs> Woo! People have been dressed far more feminine than Harry Styles in that photo shoot for like centuries. I mean, if you go back to like Beethoven days, King King James is is that the Bible? I don't even King James version. The fucking you had the the white hair, the makeup, the powdered wigs, the they put the blush on, um the tights, the regal fashion, a lot of androgynous fashion in the 60s and especially in the 80s. This isn't anything new. I I, I genuinely just didn't understand. And I am glad he's doing it. I think it's good to challenge gender norms. But is this, if this is challenging, I mean, it's sad. It really is sad. It just goes to show, like, damn, uh, we still got a long way to go. And so you have, you have like two sides too. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's like part of it is like crazy right wingers who are, who have like mega caveman brain who's like, Man be this way, this not man way, dress not man, man not dress. And then you have the other side that's like, Harry is fucking progressing society into 3020. Harry is taking us where chrome, fucking futuristic. He's taking us into the next fucking millennia of, of social progress. Well, we're going to fuck aliens and shit. Harry is doing the Lord's work. God sent Harry to wear a dress so that we can be sent into Chrome age where everybody is one sex and we asexually reproduce. I don't know where this is going. Oh, Harry. Fuck Harry. Yes. Dwaddy. Dwaddy. Hey, both sides, relax, okay? Can we skirt? Can we? 
Can we just pump the brakes a bit? It's really not that deep. But it is a net positive. So, I mean, shout out Harry Styles. Even though I think it's minimal and people are blowing it up because Harry Styles' cute daddy. It's like these two extremes. Is that just because, like, the social media platforms give the fringes a voice? And I'm giving them a voice? I mean, I, I'm not giving them a voice. No one watches this. Relax because you stan Harry and relax because you live in the same trailer park you've lived in your whole life and haven't seen anyone that doesn't wear a Mountain Dew stained wife beater like you. So those two camps sit down and and take a little and relax, okay? I, I mean, even you have people like, like Youngblood, which... <laughs> I, I really don't like young blood I'm, I'm just i have to be honest on this program something about young blood makes me viscerally cringe uh on a quantum atomic level everyone likes to likes to act like they're the, they're in the know about like about like industry plants you know Clyro's an industry plant like no she's not like Billie eilish is an industry plant and i'm and i was like yeah I thought so for a long time. I mean, but no, she's not. Okay, she's not. But that one I have a little more sympathy for because she did, did kind of seem. I'm not the one to call people industry plants. Okay. Um, but young blood. Guns a blazing, baby. Grack that. Yeah, young blood. Uh, I'm firing all cylinders. I go on Spotify and I see an ad for his new album, Weird. Oh, he's a little quirky. Young blood's a little different. He's not like you, okay? He's against the grain. He he can't be constrained in the boxes society gives him because he's just a little weird. He's a little different. Yeah, he cries sometimes and he wears eyeliner. But, like, it's about who you are in here. So, like, stop making fun of him. Ha <laughs> Got a British accent. Is that racist? I can be racist against my own. Fuck you. My name's Youngblood. I'm a little wedgie. Love all my Brits. Come on, Youngblood. And that kind of goes back to the Harry Styles thing. Because it's like, he's not edgy by today's standards. But he's, like, trying to have that, like, ugh. I'm so different. Oh, so fucking different, man. Fuck. I'm so weird. <laughs> Guy liner is a tale as old as time. And I approve. I approve. A board of directors was like, all right, young blood. He's like fucking a little crazy, a little wacky, a little quirky. Society. I don't know. Just. It's okay if you like young blood. It's 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 completely harmless. I gotta call what I sees. Gotta call it what I sees it. I'm I don't hate you. Okay, you're doing your thing. I'm not fucking. I don't. I, I'm not losing sleep over young blood. I don't like fucking wake up from s sleep paralysis and see fucking young blood hanging over my bed. He does make me go sometimes when I see that the album's called Weird. The album is called Weird. Come on. I mean, yeah, I, I kind of go, Ugh. I go like that a little bit. I do that a little bit. Sorry. Anyways, um, fucking push gender norms. Stop freaking out. Love you. Bye.